Welcome to the calendar for 2018-2019, the Biblical Calendar Restoration of the Luni Solar Barley Harvest Calendation. This calendar has been prepared and is presented by www.144,000teachers.org. The Divine Calendar Restoration The lunar month when the day starts and ends in the evening. It can be demonstrated that the various calendars in the Bible are all based upon the lunar month. That this month was lunar is shown from the fact that the day ended that evening when the Levitical uncleanness ceased. Genesis chapter 1 verses 5 8, 13, 19, and 31 formally describe what a complete day of 24 hours is made of. The evening, when there is darkness, a full night, and the morning, when there is light, a full day, were the first day. This is also mentioned for the second, third, fourth, and fifth day. A day based on the lunar calendar starts at sunset and finishes at sunset. A day based on a solar calendar, such as the Greek calendar, for example, would start in the morning and finish in the morning. A Luni Solar Barley Harvest Based Calendar The ceremony of the barley was the divine rule by which the position of the month was located. Abib, the first month of the biblical year, means barley is ripe. If by the first of Abib the barley was not sufficiently advanced for the Passover festival, then a leap month was added and the feast period of the year was delayed until the following month, making it an embolismic year rather than a common year. The Luni Solar Barley Harvest Regulation was replaced by the Vernal Equinox Intercalation as it is used today by the Jews. The mosaic ceremony connected with the barley harvest, so vital in its control of the Jewish year, did not long survive the first century of the Christian era because of the dispersion of the Jews. The period of persecution, which followed the fall of the Second Temple in 70 AD, ultimately brought about a fixed calendar for the Jews, one that was based upon an entirely different rule of intercalation, the vernal equinox, rather than the ancient barley harvest regulation. October 22, 1844, the 10th day of the 7th month, timed by God's great celestial clock of the spheres. The 2300-year span of Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, is the longest of all the allotted time periods of inspired prophecy. It is the most complex of all in its involvement, because it comprehends a series of subdivisions marked off by events whose synchronizing relationship cannot be disturbed without disturbing the whole divine scheme. The boundaries and divisions of this mighty period are timed by God's great celestial clock of the spheres, which swings inherently through space, telling of the years, months, days, hours, and minutes with the undeviating precision of infinity guiding to October 22nd, 1844 with the beginning of the Great Day of Atonement. Worship the Creator from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another. This date of October 22, 1844, cannot be impeached, 
and its reckoning is based on the lunisolar Bali Arvis new moon Ond crescent calendar, which the Menorites restored in 1844. The Gregorian date of October 22nd is the 22nd of the 10th month of the Gregorian calendar, which by conversion becomes the 10th day of the 7th month or Great Day of Atonement in 1844, according to the Biblical Feast of the Book of Leviticus, chapter 23, verses 27 to 32. Based on these premises, it can be proven biblically, astronomically, chronologically, and historically that we are to worship the Creator according to His Word in Isaiah 66, verse 23, from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another. In Psalm chapter 104, verse 19, we read, He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows is going down. We hope and pray that you will appreciate this gift, the biblical lunisolar barley harvest calendar, versus the Gregorian Solar Calendar Reckoning for 2018-2019, based on the restoration of the Creator's Calendar in 1844. The Biblical Creation Calendar is based on the Luni Solar Barley Harvest Reckoning and can be found in the Book of Leviticus, Chapter 23, the Book of Numbers, chapters 28 and 29, and many other chapters in the Bible. It was restored by the Creator through the Millerite movement in 1844, and it is the calendar that we follow at www.144,000teachers.org, School of Health and Natural Remedies. The universal time of the moon cycle is used to ascertain the biblical calendar. For additional information, you are invited to visit the USNO website, Moon Connection website, Her Majesty Observatory website, Way of Life Sanctuary website, the calendar counterfeit on mask on YouTube and 69 videos, and the Grace Amadon Collection. The importance of the Sabbath as the memorial of creation is that it keeps ever present the true reason why worship is due to God, because He is the Creator and we are His creatures. The Sabbath, therefore, lies at the very foundation of divine worship for it teaches this great truth in the most impressive manner, and no other institution does this. The true ground of divine worship, not of that on the seventh day merely, but of all worship, is found in the distinction between the Creator and His creatures. This great fact can never become obsolete and must never be forgotten. It was to keep this truth before the minds of men that God instituted the Sabbath in Eden. And so long as the fact that He is our Creator continues to be a reason why we should worship Him, so long the Sabbath will continue as its sign and memorial. The last great conflict between truth and error is but the final struggle of the long-standing controversy concerning the law of God. Upon this battle, we are now entering a battle between the laws of men and the precepts of Jehovah, between the religion of the Bible and the religion of fable and tradition.
Scaliger, a well-known chronologist of the 16th century, declared the method of Jewish reckoning as the most ingenious and most elegant of all systems of chronology. November 2018 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the seventh biblical month religious period and the beginning of the eighth biblical month civil period. As we introduce each month of the creation calendar for 2018-2019, please note that the religious period during the year was and is from spring to fall, from the month of the Feast of Passover to the month of the Feast of Tabernacles, according to the book of Leviticus, chapter 23, and the book of Numbers, chapters 28 and 29. The civil period was and is from fall to spring. The patriarch from Adam to Christ and his follower, according to history, until the 4th century kept the new moon and the 70 Sabbaths continually during the year as we do at 144,000teachers.org and they attended to agriculture and civil matters during that civil period, such as the crowning of a king or preparation for wars. Therefore, November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, is the end of the seventh biblical month, the last month of the religious period, and the beginning of the eighth biblical month, the first month of the civil period. 2017-2018 is an embolismic year. 2018-2019 is a common year. It will become a common year with the new year, the new month, coming through at the month of April 2019, Gregorian Reckoning. The black numbers are for the Gregorian Reckoning, the red numbers are for the Biblical Reckoning. Notice also that the conjunction is shown on the calendar and the horn crescent, which is used for the new moon, is also indicated along with the full moon. On the 2nd and 9th of November 2018 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 22nd and the 29th of the 7th Biblical month are the 70 Sabbaths. On the 11th of November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the 8th Biblical month, is the New Moon. On the 18th and the 25th of November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 8th and the 15th of the 8th Biblical month, are the 7-day Sabbaths. On the 8th of November 2018 is the conjunction, corresponding to the 28th of the 7th Biblical month. On the 10th, of November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 30th of the 7th Biblical month, is the Orned Crescent, which announced the new moon, which is kept from sunset to sunset. On the 11th of November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the 8th Biblical month. On the 23rd of November 2018, Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the 13th of the 8th Biblical month is the full moon. When there shall be a restitution of all things, which God had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets, according to the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 21, since the world began, the creation Sabbath, the day on which Jesus lay at rest in Joseph's tomb will still be a day of rest and rejoicing. 
Heaven and earth will unite in praise as from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another, according to Isaiah chapter 66, verse 23, when the nation of the saved shall bow in joyful worship to God and the Lamb. The Luni Solar Bali Harvest Calendation is made up of 354 days of 29 or 30 days moon cycle and 365 days solar cycle. The accommodation of the 11 days difference between the two cycles, which is obtained from 365 minus 354 equal 11, is made up with the embolismic year, which has an additional month every two to three years. The other years are called common years. 2016 to 2017, for example, was a common year. 2017 and 2018 was an embolismic year, while 2018 to 2019 is a common year. December 2018 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the 8th Biblical month and the beginning of the 9th Biblical month, both part of the civil period. On the 2nd and the 9th of December 2018 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 22nd and the 29th of the 8th Biblical month, are the 70 Sabbaths. On the 10th of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the 9th Biblical month, is the New Moon. On the 17th, 24th, and 31st of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 8th, 15th, and 22nd of the 9th Biblical month, are the 7th day Sabbath. On the 7th of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 27th of the 8th Biblical month, is the Conjunction. On the 9th of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 29th of the 8th Biblical month, is the Horn Crescent, announcing the new moon from sunset to sunset, on the 10th of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the 9th Biblical month. On the 22nd of December 2018, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 13th of the 9th Biblical month, is the full moon. The Jewish new moons, that is, the new moons that marked the first day of the month, commonly exceeded the ordinary size of the phases or first appearance of the moon. While the Greeks started their month from the conjunction itself, it was a certain shape of the moon that regulated the beginning of the Jewish month. Scaliger sometimes calls it the horned moon. Sabbath and New Moon, Rosh Odesh, were both periodically reoccurring in the course of the year. The New Moon is still, and the Sabbath originally was, dependent upon the lunar cycle. Both date back to the nomadic period of Israel. Originally, the New Moon was celebrated in the same way as the Sabbath, but gradually it became less important and the Sabbath became more and more a day of religion and humanity, of religious meditation and instruction, of peace and delight of the soul, and produced powerful and beneficent effects outside of Judaism. January 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the ninth Biblical month, the beginning of the 10th Biblical month. January 7, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 29th of the 9th Biblical month and the last 7-day Sabbath. On January 9, 2019,
corresponding to the first of the 10th biblical month is the new moon. On the 16th, 23rd, and the 30th of January 2019 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 8th, 15th, and 22nd of the 10th biblical month of the 7th day Sabbath. On the 6th of January 2019 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 28th of the 9th biblical month is the conjunction, followed on the 8th of January 2019 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 30th of the 9th biblical month, is the Horn Crescent announcing the new moon. On January 21st, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 13th of the 10th Biblical month, is the full moon. There are only a few calendar dates in the Bible, less than 100 altogether, and these are not evenly distributed, some periods being marked by a comparatively larger number than others. In the account of the Flood and Exodus, in the prophecy of Ezekiel, the post-exilic books, and the Gospels, there is sufficient number of time divisions to each period to frame the form of calendar employed. It can be demonstrated that these various biblical calendars are all based upon the lunar month but that they principally differ in one respect, the time of beginning the civil year. Under the administration of Moses, current time, both of civil and religious, was reckoned from the first month, and that this month was lunar is shown from the fact that the day ended at evening when Levitical uncleanness ceased. February 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the 10th Biblical month and the beginning of the 11th Biblical month. February 6, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 29th of the 10th Biblical month and is the last seventh-day Sabbath. February 8, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 1st of the 11th Biblical month and is the new moon. February 15 and 22nd, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning correspond to the 8 and the 15 of the 11th Biblical month and are both 70 Sabbaths. February 5, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 28th of the 10th Biblical month and is the conjunction. February 7, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning correspond to the 30th of the 10th Biblical month and is the Horned Crescent announcing the new moon. February 19, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 12th of the 11th Biblical month and is the full moon. An earliest of all ancient reckonings, the Pentateuchal Flood Chronicle, takes its place with various forms of calendars. In actual point of time, the Flood Chronicle belongs to the most primitive period of Biblical history, the Patriarchal Age, but the large numbers of dates that occur in the description of the Flood at once give it an historical character. This is of untold interest and importance to chronology. Under the influence of the Divine Spirit, Moses reckons back many centuries in time and ties his record to the very simplest form of a lunar calendar. He does number his months after the manner of both Israel and Egypt in his own day and fixes their length by a series of parallel periods and weeks, and he thereby establishes both lunar and solar constants relating number one to the length of the lunar month and year, and number two to the length of the solar or tropical year. 
March 2019 corresponds to the end of the 11th biblical month and is the beginning of the 12th biblical month. March 1st and 8, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 22nd and the 29th of the 11th biblical month and are both 7 days Sabbath. March 9, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 1st of the 12th biblical month and is the new moon. March 16, 23rd, and 30th of 2019 corresponds to the 8, 15, and 22nd of the 12 biblical months and our seven day Sabbath. March 7, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 28th of the 11th biblical month and is the conjunction. March 8, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 29th of the 11th Biblical month and is the Horned Crescent announcing the new moon. March 21, 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the 13th of the 12th Biblical month and is the full moon. The first month of the Jewish year pointed to the season of barley. In Exodus chapter 9, verses 31 and 32, Moses gives a very important detail under the seventh plague. And the flax and the barley was smitten, for the barley was in the year and the flax was bold. But the wheat and the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. Sidusky wrote, The aim of the Mosaic command was to regulate the months according to the course of the moon and the whole year in accordance with the course of the sun by assigning as a starting point the lunar month coinciding with the beginning of a determined solar season. That determined solar season was still the barley harvest in the time of Christ. The ceremony of the barley was a divine rule by which the position of the Mount Nisan or Abib was located. If by the first of Nisan the barley was not sufficiently advanced for the Passover festival, then a leap month was added and the feast period of the year was delayed until the following month, which makes up the embolismic year. April 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponds to the end of the 12th biblical month the last month of the civil period, and the beginning of the first biblical month, the first month of the religious period. It is also the beginning of a new year, which passes from Abolismic to Common Year. On the 6th of April 2019, corresponding to the 29th of the 12th biblical month, is the last seven-day Sabbath for that month. On the 7th of April 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the first of the first biblical month, is the new moon. It is also the new year, and it is the month of Abib starting. Abib means barley is ripen. On the 14th, 21st, and 28th of April 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 8th, 15th, and 22nd of the first biblical month, of the seven-day Sabbath. On the 20th of April 2019 is the Feast of Passover corresponding to the 14th of the first biblical month. And although Passover is a feast, it is not a Sabbath. Followed by the 21st of April 2019, corresponding to the 15th of the first month, is also the Feast of Unleavened Bread, while it is a seven-day Sabbath. The 15th of the first month is always the Feast of Unleavened Bread, and it's always a seven-day Sabbath. The 22nd of April 2019, corresponding to the 16th of the first biblical month, is the Feast of First Fruits. Just like Passover, First Fruits is a feast, but it is not a Sabbath. 
the 27th of April 2019 Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the 21st of the first biblical month is the last day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And while it is a Sabbath, it does not fall on a seven-day Sabbath. It is followed on the 28th of April 2019 by a seven-day Sabbath, making it then two Sabbaths in a row. The conjunction on the 5th of April 2019, corresponding to the 28th of the 12th biblical month, is followed by the Horn Crescent on the 6th of April 2019, corresponding to the 29th of the 12th biblical month, giving us the new moon on the 7th of April 2019 and the first day of the first biblical month and the new year. The full moon on the 19th of April 2019, corresponding to the 13th of the first of the biblical month, has been actually for centuries demonstrating that the Passover is always night following the full moon on the first month of the biblical year, and this has been on for centuries and centuries, and that's how we can identify the Passover. It's always the night following the full moon and not on that day of the full moon. The Jewish feast period began with the month of barley harvest and its Paschal moon or moon of Nisan Abib was the appointed moon of barley harvest. The Passover was numbered according to the moon, that is, the days of the month were the same as the days of the moon. Indeed, the Hebrew word Odesh for month means new moon. It was the actual horned crescent new moon, not any fictitious new moon that regulated the great festivals, for it was an observed moon. If we accept the testimony of Aristobulus 200 years before Christ that the Passover of the Jews followed the sunset of the day when the full moon rising in the east faces the setting sun in the west, we can reasonably conclude that the Jewish Passover, which is repeatedly described in the Bible as the 14th day of Nisan or Abib, was the day following the full moon date and not on it, or was the day after the evening when the moon stands diametrically opposed to the sun as everyone can see at the time of the full moon. The Biblical Religious Calendar Spring and Fall Feast According to the Book of Leviticus Chapter 23 and the book of Numbers, chapters 28 and 29. The spring feasts start in the spring with the new moon on crescent at the season of the barley harvest. The spring feast or festivals are number one, Passover, celebrated on the 14th of the first biblical month, corresponding to April for a common year or late April, beginning of May, for an embolismic year, Gregorian Reckoning. The second feast is the Feast of Unleavened Bread, celebrated from the 15th to the 21st of the first biblical month. The third feast is the Feast of First Fruits, celebrated on the 16th of the first biblical month. The fourth feast is the Feast of Pentecost, celebrated on the 9th of the 3rd Biblical month, corresponding to June Gregorian Reckoning. The Fall Feast start in the fall with the new moon of the 7th month. The Fall Feast or festivals are number 5, the Feast of Trumpets, celebrated on the 1st of the 7th Biblical month, September-October Gregorian Reckoning, Number six, the Feast of the Day of Atonement, celebrated on the 10th of the 7th Biblical month. And number seven, the Feast of Tabernacles, celebrated from the 15th to the 22nd of the 7th Biblical month. 
May 2019 Gregorian reckoning correspond to the end of the first biblical month and the beginning of the second biblical month. On the 5th of May 2019 Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the 29th of the first biblical month is the last 70th Sabbath of the first biblical month. On the 7th of May 2019 Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the first of the second biblical month is the new moon. On the 14th, 21st and 28th of May 2019 corresponding to the 8th, the 15th and the 22nd of the second biblical month are the 7th day Sabbath. On the 4th of May 2019 is the conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the first biblical month followed on the 6th of May 2019 with the horn crescent making the first month a 30-day month and followed by the new moon on the 7th of May 2019. The full moon is on the 18th of May 2019 corresponding to the 12th of the second month, biblical month. The mosaic ceremony connected with the barley harvest, so vital in its control of the Jewish year, did not long survive the first century of the Christian era because of the dispersion of the Jews. The period of persecution, which followed the fall of the Second Temple in 70 AD, ultimately brought about a fixed calendar for the Jews, one that was based upon an entirely different rule of intercalation, the vernal equinox, rather than the ancient barley harvest regulation. June 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the second biblical month and the beginning of the third biblical month. On the 4th of June 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the 29th of the second biblical month is the last 70th Sabbath for that month. On the 5th of June 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the 1st of the 3rd Biblical month is the New Moon. On the 12th, 19th and 26th of June 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the 8th, 15th and 22nd of the 3rd Biblical month are the 7th Sabbath. On the 13th of June 2019 is the Feast of Pentecost corresponding to the 9th of the 3rd Biblical month. Notice that the Feast of Pentecost is also a Sabbath, although not at the same time as a 70th Sabbath, it is a Sabbath. And the Feast of Pentecost is always on the 9th of the 3rd Biblical month, no matter what it corresponds with in the Gregorian calendar. On the 3rd of June 2019 is the conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the second biblical month. On the 4th of June 2019 Gregorian reckoning is the horn crescent corresponding to the 29th of the second biblical month. On the 17th of June 2019 Gregorian reckoning is the full moon corresponding to the 13th of the third biblical months. About the 8th century AD, the Karaites arose to oppose the influence of the rabbinate's fixed calendar and to restore the barley harvest schedule as the important index to regulate the leap year or embalismic year. This controversy over the Hebrew calendar raged for several centuries. It really represented a rivalry between Palestine and Babylon for the prerogative of keeping time for the Jewish nation. Though the Karaites were biblically correct, in the end, the Babylonian Jews gained control of the calendar and Karaism dwindled. July 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the third biblical month and the beginning of the fourth biblical month. 
On the 3rd of July 2019, Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the 29 of the third biblical month is the last 70 Sabbath. On the 5th of July 2019, Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the first of the fourth biblical month is the new moon. On the 12, 19, and 26 of July 2019, Gregorian reckoning corresponding to the 8th, 15 and 22nd of the fourth biblical month are the seven day Sabbath. On the 2nd of July 2019 is the conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the third biblical month, followed on the 4th of July 2019 with the horn crescent corresponding to the 30th day of the third month. On the 16th of July 2019, is the full moon corresponding to the 12th of the 4th biblical month. On to 2,300 days, according to Daniel chapter 8, verse 14, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. The 2,300 year span is the longest of all the allotted time periods of inspired prophecy. It is the most complex of all in its involvement because it comprehends a series of subdivisions marked off by events whose synchronizing relationship cannot be disturbed without disturbing the whole divine scheme. The terminal point of this great prophecy became the center of absorbing interest and reverent study back in the early decades of the 19th century. The close of the great 1260-year period told off by the living God as the era of the little horn from Daniel chapter 7 verse 25, having come during the time of the French Revolution, 1789-1798, the minds of earnest students of prophecy then turned simultaneously in different lands to the approaching end of the 2300-year prophecy of Daniel chapter 8 verse 14 at the time of God's long foretold hour of judgment or the antitypical day of atonement. August 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the end of the fourth biblical month and the beginning of the fifth biblical month. On the 2nd of August 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 29th of the 4th Biblical month, is the last 70 Sabbath for that month. On the 3rd of August 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the 5th Biblical month, is the New Moon. On the 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st of August 2019, corresponding to the 8th, 15, 22nd, and 29 of the 5th Biblical month are the 7-day Sabbath. On the 1st of August 2019 is the conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the 4th Biblical month, followed with the Horn Crescent on the 2nd of August 2019 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 29th of the 4th Biblical month. On the 15th of August 2019, Gregorian Reckoning is the full moon corresponding to the 13th of the 5th Biblical month. There is another surprise in the month of August 2019. The 30th of August 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, there is another conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the 5th Biblical month. So therefore, this is not the same month. The 1st of August 2019 was the end of the 4th month when the conjunction appears in order to establish the 5th and on the 30th of August 2019 is the 28th of the 5th month in order to establish the next month, the 6th month. The 2,300 days commenced in 457 BC with the decree to rebuild Jerusalem from Artaxerxes under Ezra. It had been shown that Christ was crucified in AD 31 
in the midst or the middle of the 70th week or 490 days of years. Therefore, the 70 weeks terminated in the autumn of AD 34 and the 2,300 days of years terminated in the autumn of 1844 with the Day of Atonement or cleansing of the sanctuary. 2,300 minus 490 equal 1,810 plus the 34 equal 1,844. The writings of the Christian Jewish scholar Joseph Samuel C.F. Frey exerted a marked influence upon Snow and his associates in fixing upon October 22, 1844 as the precise tenth day of the seventh month based on the biblical lunisolar barley harvest calendar as a fulfillment of the atonement autumnal type. September 2019, Gregorian Reckoning correspond to the sixth biblical month. On the 2nd of September 2019, Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the first of the sixth biblical month is the new moon. On the 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th of September 2019, corresponding to the 8th, 15th, 22nd and 29 of the six biblical months of the seven-day Sabbath. On the 1st of September 2019 is the Horn Crescent corresponding to the 30th of the fifth month, the fifth biblical month, announcing the new moon. On the 14th of September 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, Corresponding to the 13 of the 6th biblical month is the full moon. Another little surprise again on the 28th of September 2019. Corresponding to the 27th of the 6th biblical month is the conjunction. This conjunction is announcing the 7th month followed with the horn crescent on the 30th of September 2019, corresponding to the 29th of the 6th Biblical month. So therefore, you can notice that the first Horn Crescent on the 1st of September was for the coming 6th Biblical month, and now the Horn Crescent on the 30th of September is for the 7th month. The Unimpeachable Calendar, the Validity of October 22, 1844. The preaching of a definite time for the judgment was ordered of God. The computation, based on the Luni Solar Barley Harvest Calendar Mosaic Law, of the prophetic periods on which that message was based, placing the close of the 2,300 days in the autumn of 1844, stands without impeachment. The validity of October 22nd as the true equivalent of the 10th day of the 7th month of the appointed Jewish sacred year depends, point number one, upon the correct determination of the true beginning of the biblical sacred year. Point number two, upon locating the true seventh month in that year. Point number three, upon the correct reckoning of the true ten day of that seventh month. Point number four, upon the basis of the Karaite Hebrew reckoning. October 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the seventh biblical month, the last month of the religious period, and the beginning of the eighth biblical month, the first month of the civil period. October 1st, 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponds to the first of the seventh biblical month, and it is the new moon of the seventh month, and it is also the Feast of Trumpets. 
The Feast of Trumpets always falls on a new moon and it is always celebrated as a Sabbath and it is the only feast that falls on a new moon. On the 8, 15, 22nd and 29th of October 2019 Gregorian Reckoning corresponding to the 8, 15, 22nd and 29th of the 7th Biblical Month are the 70 Sabbaths. On the 10th of October 2019 Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 10th of the 7th Biblical month, is the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement is always celebrated as a Sabbath, but never falls on the 7th day Sabbath. On the 15th of October 2019, corresponding to the 15th of the 7th Biblical month, is the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles. The first day of the Feast of Tabernacles always falls on the 7th day Sabbath. So it is a high day. On the 22nd of October 2019, corresponding to the 22nd of the 7th Biblical month, is the last day of the Feast of Tabernacles and also always falls on the 7th day Sabbath. So it is also a high day. On the 31st of October 2019, Gregorian Reckoning, corresponding to the 1st of the Eighth biblical month is the new moon. On the 13th of October 2019, corresponding to the 13th of the seventh biblical month is the full moon. On the 28th of October 2019 is the conjunction corresponding to the 28th of the seventh biblical month and on seeing the horn crescent on the 30th of October 2019 corresponding to the 30th of the 7th Biblical month, corresponding to the new moon. In seeking to cast contempt upon the divine statutes, Satan has perverted the doctrines of the Bible and errors have thus become incorporated into the faith of thousands who profess to believe the scriptures. The last great conflict between truth and error is but the final struggle of the long-standing controversy concerning the law of God. Upon this battle we are now entering, a battle between the laws of man and the precepts of Jehovah, between the religion of the Bible and the religion of fable and tradition. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever.